A reminder you can help support the channel by joining the AMTV Patreon. You can also follow us and keep up to date on Twitter at Adam Martin AMTV, or if you like, you can join us here at AMTV by becoming a staff member via the YouTube membership program. <laughs> Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome to this Big Finish uh, collection update, I suppose. As you can see here, here is most of the collection, there's some off screen at the minute. Uh, this is just a sort of, I mean, you might remember last year I did my Big Finish collection after one year. I highly recommend that you check that out if you want me to go in depth, sort of pulling out every CD, looking at what's there. I'm going to pull out some of them today, but I just wanted to update you with where the collection is at now. So you've got these two bookcases here, that's all my Doctor Who DVDs and stuff, but over here right in the corner you can see a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel disc from back in the day, a sealed up TARDIS from my Battles in Time cards, there's nothing in it, don't worry. This is a new shelf, um, and this, I'm just to amalgamate things, I've moved some bits and pieces over. That's the Cybermen box set, series one and two. This is quite a recent edition. I had series one of Cybermen years and years and years ago as a kid, um, but they're long gone now. So to get both series in this one box was really nice. That was in a sale. I've also got the stage play, so you have the ultimate adventure, seven keys to doomsday, and the curse of the Daleks. More recent editions are over here. I've got the Dalek Empire series. So I've got series one, series two, Series 3 and Series 4, and I've also got the four I Davros releases there as well, which is really cool. I'm really enjoying Dalek Empire so far. I've only got through Series 1 at the minute, so I'm working my way through Series 2, but I really like what I hear. If you like Daleks and you want to hear sort of like a spin-off without featuring the Doctor per se, then you might enjoy these. You can get them for really cheap on the, on the download now from the Big Finish website. What I also moved to this shelf was my Companion Chronicles collection. This is everything I've got so far. I haven't got every release, but um, I'm, I'm gradually getting there. There's not many, but I've got all of series one, two, most of three, all of four, I think most of five, most of six, nearly all of seven, and all of series eight. So there's a real, there's a real mix in there. So you've got Frostfire. This is series one. You've got Fear of the Daleks, uh, the Bluetooth. The Beautiful People, uh, Mother Russia, Helicon Prime, Old Soldiers, The Catalyst, Here There Be Monsters, into Series 3 now, The Great Space Elevator, uh, The Doll of Death, Empathy Games, Home Truths, The Darkening Eye, The Transit of Venus, uh, the Prisoner's Dilemma, Resistance, The Magician's Oath, that's a recent one. I'm missing the last two of Series 3, which is a bit annoying. I think that's the Mahogany Murders and the Steelers from Safe, or Safe, I think. So then to Series 4, you've got The Drowned World, The Glorious Revolution, The Prisoner of Peladon, uh, The uh, Paralysis Effect, Ringpool World, Benny Summerfield and the Criminal Code. Nice to see some Benny in there. Uh, the Suffering. The Emperor of Eternity. Shadow of the Past. Uh, the Time Vampire, which I think is the first Companion Chronicles release with the reversible cover. The uh, Knights Black Angels. And Solitaire. So that's Series 4, which I have all of, but Series 5 is a bit more hit and miss. We have Echoes of Grey. We have the Invasion of E-Space, Quinnis, which is a really interesting release actually, the Perpetual Bond, the Forbidden Time, the Sentinels of the New Dawn, the Cold Equations. Then we move on to Series 6, which again is what I'm missing a few of, but I have Tales from the Vault, the Memory Cheats, uh, the Many Deaths of Joe Grant, we have the First Wave, Beyond the Ultimate Adventure, so a continuation after the stage play, funnily enough. You have the Salatian Gambit, I think that's how you pronounce it. 
and you have the Wanderer, the Jigsaw War, and the Rings of Ikiria. I think that's how you pronounce it. So on to Series 7 now, again missing some of these, but I do have the Uncertainty Principle, uh, Project Nirvana, The Last Post, The Child, very ominous title, uh, The Flames of Cadiz, House of Cards, The Scorchies, which I've heard is really, really good, The Library of Alexandria, Moving on down to this row, you have uh, the Apocalypse Mirror. And then on to Series 8 now. So I've Mastermind, uh, The Alchemists, Upstairs, The Ghost in the Machine, The Beginning, again, very interesting release, The Dying Light, Luna Romana, The Sleeping City, Starborn, the War to End All Wars, The Elixir of Doom, and Second Chances. So that's the first eight series of the Companion Chronicles. The funny thing about Companion Chronicles is there are some releases, one of the ones I'm missing, that for some reason are going for very, very high prices secondhand, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure whether they had like a limited run uh, of release or whatever like the the two rocket men stories are examples of that perry and the piskin paradox uh, the one featuring evelyn where the name escapes me i think it's called a town called fortune but yeah some that are very weird price wise but then the companion chronicles did continue the you could call this series nine if you like uh, the first doctor volume one and then <clears throat> excuse me the first doctor volume two and the first doctor volume three they really focused on those first two you have the Second Doctor Volume 1 and the Second Doctor Volume 2. And at the time I'm recording this, Volume 3 of the Second Doctor is due to come out any time now. So hopefully soon I'll have that to add to the shelf as well. You also have this, the Companion Chronicles, um, the specials. This is quite a cool release. You have the Three Companions, the Mists of Time and Freak Show. So the Companions featured, you have the Brigadier, uh, Polly... And I believe it's... Who are the ones featured in The Three Companions now? I believe the ones featured in The Three Companions are the Brigadier Polly and Thomas Brewster there. And then you've got a story with Joe and you've got a story with Turlo as well. So that's a really nice release to have on the shelf, that's for sure. Shame they never did another one of those sets. What I've also put on here is the Lost Stories, which I've recently been able to complete, thankfully. So just going through those, you have the first series with The Nightmare Fair, Mission to Magnus... Leviathan, The Hollows of Time, Paradise Five, Point of Entry, The Song of Megaptera, and The Macross. Then Series 2 kicked off with the box set, so you have this one, the first Doctor box set, which has uh, Fa Farewell Great Macedon and the Fragile Yellow Arc of Fragrance. Nice to have that. Then you have the second Doctor set, which contained a uh, Prison in Space, which is a... Uh, an interesting story, and also the uh, Dalek pilot that never was, the Destroyers, I think it's called. The rest of Series 2 is the, would have been Season 27 for the Seventh Doctor. So you have Crime of the Century, you have Animal, Thin Ice, which of course became an episode, or title did, and Earth Aid. So that is Series 2 of The Lost Adventures. We're moving down to the bottom shelf. Uh, series 3, I guess, officially kicked off. It's labelled Series 3 on the website, if I can get it out there. A fourth Doctor set here with the fourth Doctor and Leela. So you have the Foe from the Future and the Valley of Death. Really cool that the fourth Doctor got a box set in there. And then Series 3 continues. Uh, it has mostly fifth and sixth Doctor releases, though there are some first and second ones in there as well. We'll go through them. So you have the Elite Hexagora. The Children of Seth, The Guardians of Prophecy, Power Play, The First Sontarans, The Masters of Luxor, and The Rose Mariners. Now that makes up Series 3. Series 4, it's quite short, only four releases. You have The Dark Planet, The Queen of Time, Lords of the Red Planet, and the Mega, which is a six-part adventure for the third Doctor, and one I've heard good things about, so I'm looking forward to listening to that. Coming to the end now of the Lost Stories, you have Series 5, which has two releases, which is uh, Nightmare Country for the fifth Doctor, and The Ultimate Evil for the sixth Doctor. 
Series 6 equally has only two releases, being Return of the Cybermen, and I'll just pull it out there, the Doomsday Contract. Now these two I actually got from Big Finish Day this year, that was a great event, I'll talk more about that a little bit later. And Series 7, well it's not labelled 7, but this is Mind of the Hodiac which was Russell T. Davis's first ever Doctor Who related script that he wrote back in, what was it, 1985-86? So nice to have that. Series 7 is due to kick off, I think, next year, or numbered-wise, anyway. And then concluding this shelf, I have the Early Adventures, which just about fits on. Managed to complete all of these as well, thanks to Big Finish Day. So Series 1, you have Domain of the Vord, you have the Doctor's Tale, the Bounty of Ceres, and An Ordinary Life, that's Series 1. And then Series 2 is more Patrick Troughton orientated. You have the Yes Men, you have the Forsaken, the Black Hole, which has the Monk in it, and the Isos Network. Series 3 is one that I needed to complete, managed to do that at Big Finish Day. So we have the Age of Endurance, the Fifth Traveller, the Ravelli Conspiracy, and then one I already had, the Sontarans, really cool. First Doctor meets the Sontarans. Series 4, I had none of, so Big Finish Day helped me complete this. So we have the Night Witches, the Outliers, the Morton Legacy, and the Wreck of the World. Series 5, uh, changed it to the modern logo, still four releases though. So you have the Dalek Occupation of Winter, which is one of the best Big Finish releases of recent years, I do say so myself, really listen to that. You have an ideal world, that was big finish day purchase, as was this, entanglement. And then this one's good too, the crash of the UK 201, a good Vicky story. Series 6 only has two releases, you have the home guard, and you have daughter of the gods, a really cool first and second doctor crossover story. And then finally series 7 is uh, after the Daleks and the secrets of Det Sen. First Doctor meeting the Yeti. That's all the early adventures for now, all seven series. I do wonder if they'll carry this range on now that they're doing specific box sets. You know, they've recast the first and second Doctors. It does make me wonder. But the ones I've heard so far, the early adventures, are really, really good. So that is this shelf that I've, uh, I've acquired and moved stuff onto. I hope you see why I've done it, just because, you know, space is always limited. But I've got my Companion Chronicles, I've got my Lost Stories, I've got my early adventures, got all my Dalek Empire, got Idavros, got the Cybermen and the three stage plays as well. This space here is almost perfect for the eight Unbound releases that came out way back when. I don't have those on CD yet. I've listened to them via download, but I do need the CDs. They're long out of print, so if you can point me in the right direction of cheap Unbound CDs, I'd be very grateful. But yeah, hope you like the new little shelf to my Big Finish collection. Over here, this is definitely the main shelf. If you've seen one of my videos before, you definitely know what you're getting with this. I'm not gonna go through the main range individually because I've done that in past videos. You can check those out, but all 275 main range releases are here. So this top shelf, these two stacks here, and going down to this shelf as well. So release 275, let's look for it. Uh, there it is, the end of the beginning. Then you've got your special releases, like I've got the Excellus Trilogy, uh, the special numbered releases, there's one, two, three. Some of these I don't have yet, some of them are quite tricky to find. They were subscriber only, sort of like the Four Doctors is one of them, the Five Companions is another, but I have most of those special releases. Uh, one of my favorites actually it is, maybe not necessarily in story, but just releases, was this one, the toy. Now, I think you can you can now get this separately, but uh, this was only available if you subscribe to the Complete History series of books that I collected and also, you know, used for the viewing figures videos. So that was, it's a neat little adventure as well for Nyssa. So happy to have that. Then obviously you get into the box sets. I've done this in order of Doctor, as you can see. So you've got the first Doctor or David Bradley's version, all five series there. And then when the CD comes out for it, we have had the Outlaws recently. Uh, that I have listened to that. I quite enjoyed it actually. I think Stephen Noonan does a great job of the first Doctor. The CD hasn't uh, been dispatched yet, but rest assured I'll probably put that after David Bradley. It's set, this is all like set series one and two era. They, the new one was definitely season three. There's no Patrick Trout one as of yet, though we'll get one later this year, but I've got all the third Doctor adventures here. Uh, five and six are recent additions. I was thanks to Big Finish Day, so thank you for that. But you've got... Um, series one to eight you have the recent box set this year the annihilators which was so so good i'll see if i can get it out a little bit but it was a perfectly encapsulated a seven part season seven story with liz shaw the brigadier there's the second doctor as well just really recommend that release if you haven't heard it 
Now this is the main addition to the collection, really, the fourth Doctor Adventures. You might remember last time, I've, I've not really got round to Tom Baker on Big Finish, but at Big Finish Day, they were selling these adventures, series one to six, for literally a couple of pounds each per release. So, I mean, how could I not? Come on, especially when CD stocks were going for the first few series. So I managed to get nearly every release from series one to six of the fourth Doctor Adventures, bar, I think, four titles. Two from series four and two from series five, which is a little annoying. But, for the sake of it, since they are relatively new to the collection, I'll have a little show for you. I've cleared the top row, otherwise it's all going to fall apart. But anyway, so the fourth Doctor Adventures, we have uh, series one, Destination Nerva. We have the Renaissance Man, the Wrath of Insini, or Insini, I can't remember how it's pronounced. Energy of the Daleks, which is what I'm currently listening to at the moment. Uh, Trial of the White Worm, you can see Crispy Master in the corner there. And you have the uh, Asidon Adventure featuring the Kral, so that's Series 1. Series 2 uh, features uh, Mary Tamas Romana, one of her last appearances before she sadly passed. So you have the Antimatter. The Sands of Life, uh, War Against the Lan, The Justice of Jal Jal Jalzar? Is that Jalzar? Might get my pronunciations wrong. Uh, Phantoms of the Deep, The Dalek Contract, they're back again, and The Final Phase. So that makes up Series 2 of the Fourth Doctor Adventures. Series 3 has eight releases, so you have the King of Sontar. We're back to having Leela as the companion, as she was in Series 1. White Ghosts. The Crooked Man, the Evil One, Last of the Colophon, Destroy the Infinite, the Abandoned, and Zygon Hunt, thus finishing Series 3. Now, as I said, Series 4, unfortunately, by the time I got to them, some titles had already gone. They had limited CD stock. So out of the eight adventures, I managed to get six of them. So I have the first release of Series 4, the Exelons. Uh, number 2, Series 4.2, is what I'm missing, um, which is a shame. So I'll have to pick that up when I can. But I've got 4.3, which is Requiem for the Rocketmen. 4.4, which is Deathmatch. 4.5, which is Suburbi Suburban Hell. 4.6 is sadly one I'm missing, but I do have 4.7 and 4.8. So let's have a look at those now, shall we? 4.7 is The Fate of Krelos or Krelos, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and 4-8, which is Return to Telos, which looks very exciting from the cover alone. Looking forward to listening to that. That's Series 4. Then down here is Series 5 and 6. Now again, sadly, from Series 5, I'm missing the last two releases, Release 7 and 8, but I do have the first six. So I managed to get Wave of Destruction, which I believe you can also get as a vinyl, The Labyrinth of Buddha Castle. This has a Lala Ward, by the way, as a, the Seca Romana. The Paradox Planet, Legacy of Death, Gallery of Ghouls, and The Trouble with Drax. So again, 5.7 and 5.8 I'm sadly missing. They are still in print, they're not in limited stock yet, so hopefully I'll be able to get those at some point or if there's a sale on. But yeah, at least I've got the majority. And last but not least, you have Series 6, which has nine releases, managed to get all of these. So we have the Beast of Kravanos, and as you can see, this clearly takes place in Season 18, because the Doctor's in his second costume, which is really cool. Nice that they've gone for that era too. You've got the Eternal Battle, the Silent Scream, which I've heard amazing things about. Looking forward to getting to that. You have a uh, Deathras, the Haunting of Malkin Place, Subter Subterranea, if I can read properly, that'd be good, wouldn't it? The Mavellan Grave, the Skin of the Sleek, and The Thief Who Stole Time. So that's Series 6 there. So yeah, really happy to get pretty much nearly all of Series 1 to 6 of the Fourth Doctor Adventures. It's an era that, for whatever reason, I'd just not got around to listening on audio. I'm aware there's more. There's obviously Series 7, Series 8, Series 9, Series 10. So I've got a lot of catching up to do, but happy to have a good chunk of that now in the collection. The Fourth Doctor doesn't stop on this shelf, however. I did manage to pick up the most recent release, which is the first volume of Series 11, Solo, which has two really interesting stories, Blood of the Time Lords and the Raven... Was it the Ravencliff Witch? Yeah, really interesting box set. I highly recommend you check that out if you're a Tom Baker fan. Also got this, Philip Hinchcliffe Presents, which was the first in this series. Very chunky box set, very expensive for some reason as well. Not uh, on big finish anyway, even in the sale, not really sure why. But managed to get um, the second series of Philip Hinchcliffe Presents. So we've got the Genesis Chamber, 
and you've got the Helm of Awe, and then the release from last year, which is the God of Phantoms, which I believe is a six-parter, so that's really cool. On to the Fifth Doctor, we have this one. We've got the Fifth Doctor box set, which has Psychodrome and Iterations of I. Two very interesting stories, big recommend to that. More recently, we've got 40. This is volume one of 40, helping celebrate, celebrate 40 years of the Fifth Doctor. This was a really good set as well. Really excited to see where the second set takes us when it comes out later this year. We also have this, The Lost Resort and other stories. Some really cracking tales here. I would recommend listening to the main range releases uh, featuring Mark first. Uh, you don't have to, but I'd argue it'd be, it's just better for you. But this set was great, which is this. This is The Sixth Doctor and Perry Volume 1. Don't know if there's going to be a Volume 2. Really interesting stories on that as well. And then more recently, you have the Sixth Doctor with the Eleven, the evil Time Lord known as the Eleven. I do like the Eleven as a character. I do wonder sometimes if I hear a bit too much of him, but that could just be I've listened to a lot of Eleven releases back to back. But yeah, interesting set, this one. Then very recently, you've had the Return of Unbound. This is the Doctor of War, Genesis. So the what-if scenario, what if it was the Sixth Doctor who became the War Doctor in a way, based... Just listen to this, really cool set. Looking forward to the second one later in the year. You got the Seventh Doctor with the Seventh Doctor, The New Adventures, Volume 1, taking some companions from the Virgin New Adventures era. I really hope they do another one of these. Um, I, I mean, this was released about four years ago now, so I'm not sure how likely it is, but it'd be great to see. And we also had some eight throwback because we had Charlie Pollard, the further adventurous. Big fan of Charlie. Nice to have her back for a few adventures. And they do fit in with that early sort of Eighth Doctor style. So lovely to have a bit more Charlie. I've also managed to finish off the... Uh, the Eighth Doctor series with Lucy Miller. I'm not sure if I had the um, the last time. But you've got all of Series 1 there. Then in between 1 and 2 is the Further Adventures of Lucy Miller, because that's where it takes place. Then you've got all of Series 2 there. And then if you join me in here, I know it's a bit dark. You've got all of Series 3 and all of Series 4. Very cracking series, by the way. Big recommend that you listen to that. And hiding in there, you've got the four Dark Eyes releases, the four Doom Coalition releases... Uh, the four Ravenous, uh, the three Stranded. I have listened to Stranded 4. It's brilliant. You should listen to it as well. So, 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 so good. Brilliant end to that series. And hopefully the CD will be dispatched soon so I can add that to here. You've got the four Eighth Doctor Time War box sets. Again, really hope they do a fifth, hopefully. Uh, I've got the first two War Doctor Begins box sets. The third one's due to be released uh, in a month or so, I think. Really good stuff there. Jonathan Cowley's fantastic. You've got the four War Doctor sets with John Hurt when he was still around. You've got the four Eccleston box sets that have come out so far. So I guess the new ones you might not have seen from last time. You've got uh, Lost Warriors, which was really cool. Sorry about the blurriness. We're losing focus there. And Old Friends, a very cool box set. 19 Minute with the Brigadier. Need I say more? You've got the Tenth Doctor and River Song. That's the first Out of Time release there. Followed by the second one there, and that's the that's the Dalek Protocol. Yes, prelude to the Dalek Universe saga, which of course is right here. Again, excellent series of stories. Highly recommend you listen to those if you haven't heard them. I've got the two classic Doctor's New Monsters sets. Uh, the Chronicle series, so you've got Ninth Doctor Chronicles, Tenth Doctor Chronicles, Eleventh Doctor Chronicles 1 and 2, and the Twelfth Doctor Chronicles 1 and 2 as well, so very good to have them. The War Master series, which I'd argue is one of Big Finish's absolute best series, bar none. You've, so you've got Volume 1, Only the Good, The Master of Callus, Rage of the Time Lords, Anti-Genesis, probably one of my favourites, Heart of Darkness, Killing Time, man, Killing Time was such a good set. Heartbreaking in many ways, but very good. Looking forward to Volume 7 later this year. You've got Gallifrey Time War. I've got all four. One, two, three, four. Susan's War. I'll always say that is a heavily underrated box set. Uh, the Diary of River Song. We have all of them now, I think. So we've got Volume 1, 2 there. Sorry about the reflection, by the way. 1, 2 there. You've got Volumes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. New Recruit was one of my actually favourite releases from 2021. Uh, features Liz Shaw, of course. Uh, Third Doctor Vibes. How could I not like it? You've got Master, Brilliant Return of Eric Roberts. The three Missy series, particularly like the one where she, it's Missy and the Monk. Uh, the Lives of Captain Jack, all three of those. Rose Tyler, The Dimension Cannon. This series doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. Very underrated. You should check it out. There's a second one coming out later this year as well. The Year of Martha Jones. So great to hear Freema Adjiman back in the role. I really like this release. A lot of people, it wasn't what people were expecting, but I like the sort of downplayedness of the whole thing. I really did. Donna Noble Kidnapped, really fun set with Catherine Tate. 
The two volumes of The Lone Centurion, which again was a series I didn't expect to like, but I've actually ended up really loving. Arthur Darvill is fantastic. Managed to get all four series of the Paternoster Gang. That was really cool. Need to listen to those. Lady Christina Volume 1, Lady Christina Volume 2, Peladon, which surprised me with how good that was as well as a set. I've got the two Jenny sets, 1 and 2, the Churchill Years 1 and 2, the 8th of March 1 and 2. That one came out this year. Need to listen to that. I've got The New Adventures of Benny Summerfield, Volume 1. Need to get around to listening to that and maybe some of the others. Uh, Tales from New Earth, um, Unit Dominion, which is a really good set. And I still, yes, need to get round to these. Uh, eight Volumes 1 to 8 of the New Unit series. But I have listened to these two, which is uh, Unit Nemesis 1 and 2. Really cracking sets there. So I'm sure these will be just as good. And lastly, we've got some special releases just behind some minifigures there. So you've got the 10th Doctor Adventures Volume 1 Limited Edition, Volume 2 Limited Edition, and Volume 3 Limited Edition. So nice to have all three of those standing tall up there, as well as these over here. So you would have seen some of these before. The Legacy of Time, which was 20 years of big finish. Amazingly got that for something daft like £20. Got Masterful, which is the 50th anniversary Master Story. Really great script written by James Goss for that one. You've got The Last Adventure, you've got The Light at the End, which was the uh, 50th anniversary story Big Finish put out, which I did used to own on CD, but I gave that away. And then I've also got, uh, funnily enough, the um, novel adventures in limited edition, or four of them at least, they did two of these. So volume one is uh, The English Way of Death and the Romance of Crime, and volume two is Damaged Goods and the Well-Mannered War. And of course, Damaged Goods, for those who don't know, was written by... Russell T Davies, way before he became showrunner, so I'm very excited to listen to that. And that, big breath, oh, that big breath is the big finished collection so far. Again, apologies I didn't go through everything individually, because I think if I did that we'd literally be here forever. And a lot of it you can see in the one year on video that I did last August, I think it was, was it last August? So if you want to see things pulled out individually, you can check that out there. But this is where the collection stands, and of course not forgetting that shelf over there. I'm really happy with where this has come. I've, I've had the absolute pleasure of listening to a whole range of different Doctor Who stories, spanning multiple Doctors, multiple eras, what if eras, all that sort of stuff. I, I just love it. I love Big Finish, and I always kick myself. Like, why did I only get into listening to this stuff in 2020? Why wasn't I listening to this stuff for, like, the past 15 years? So... Very happy to have consumed a lot of it. Still a lot that I need to consume, but that I am still currently enjoying. But yes, let me know in the comments. Um, did you enjoy this video? Do you want to see a more in-depth video looking at specific series that I've got, like the main range or some of the box sets? Let me know, things like that. Um, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it as well. It'd be great to see your feedback from there. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are brand, brand new. And I almost forgot, big finish day. That took place at the Derby Quad. Had an absolutely fantastic time, got to listen to some great panels, had some photos with um, Louise Jameson and Paul McGann, that both really lovely people. Also I picked up a ton of Big Finish, a lot of the early adventures, all the fourth Doctor adventures that you saw, some of the lost stories. A really fun day and, and a big thank you to all the great people there who helped make it special as well. So hopefully I'll be able to go next year and hopefully you'll be able to go too if you're interested. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Lachlan Hatfield, and Jem Pringle, our AMTV staff members.